VPI is a software library that is used to create high-performance computer vision and image processing pipelines. It exposes several computing accelerators available in the device it's running on through a uniform and easy-to-use interface. Uh, moreover, VPI is currently the only way to have uh, direct access to some of Jetson accelerators like the PVA used for computer vision algorithms and VIC most commonly used for image operations. VPI works on Tegra devices, like the Jetson AZX Xavier shown here, and Linux PCs. On a PC, it makes use of the machine CPU and the installed NVIDIA GPU for acceleration. VPI is deployed with NVIDIA Jetpack. You can consult Jetpack's documentation for instructions on how to install it. As an example, we show here a complete stereo disparity estimation pipeline that efficiently uses several backends, which is how we call the computer accelerators. This pipeline receives the input from a stereo camera, which are the left and right images of a stereo pair. Then the VIC backend works on this input to correct lens distortion and scale the image down, resulting in a rectified stereo pair. Then images get converted from color to grayscale using the GPU, with the result fed into a sequence of operations using PVA and NVENC backends. The output is an estimate of the disparity between the input images, which is related to the scene depth. VPI comes with several algorithms, ranging from image processing building blocks like the, build, the box filtering, uh, convolution, image rescaling, and remap, to more complex uh, computer vision algorithms like the Harris Corn detection, KLT feature tracker, optical flow, background subtraction, among others. As it can be seen in the table, each algorithm is implemented in one or more backends. Each implementation yields similar results, which allows the user to pick and choose the best backend for execution of an algorithm, given the expected workload on each backend. The number of algorithms keep on growing based on user feedback. On release 1.1, we have included five new algorithms and one more backend for the stereo disparity estimation. If you're interested in more information about VPI programming, refer to its documentation. For an in-depth tutorial, you can watch the webinar we presented back in February 2021 entitled Implementing Computer Vision and Image Processing Solutions with VPI. VPI is also about speed. This chart shows how its CUDA and CPU implementations compare to the corresponding OpenCV algorithms. It's an apples to apples comparison, CPU compared to CPU, CUDA compared to CUDA. Separable convolution, for instance, get a whooping 50 times faster execution than OpenCV on CPU, whereas Harris Corners is almost 20 times faster than OpenCV on CUDA. Most other algorithms are not left behind. The speed VPI achieves on CPU makes it as a good choice for execution backend, especially when other backends are being fully utilized. This allows for better load balancing depending on the pipeline being executed. 